This weekend, junior doctors from around the country are holding a meeting to try to avoid strike action. They're angry after the government announced new contracts that would reclassify their working week to include Saturdays and shifts until 10 p.m. More than 50,000 have signed a petition calling for a walkout, with some warning they'll work, ab work abroad to avoid the contract. Joining me now is Dr Lamise Latif, who is a junior doctor, and you're not happy about this. What is the problem? Well, essentially, the NHS is run by goodwill. It's not just doctors, it's nurses, it's healthcare assistants, everybody. We work more than the hours that we are contracted to. And then learning about this new contract, where they want to increase the hours that we do and then lessen our pay, I mean, it just infuriates you. They're taking away the overtime rates. They're being scrapped for work between 7 a.m. and 10 p.m. Yes. on every day apart from Sunday. So Saturday as well. Saturday would be a normal work. And this day. comes in next year. Yes. What impact do you think it will have on junior doctors? Well, most of us, especially at my stage, are applying now. So in November is the application process as to essentially what we want to do for the rest of our careers. Become We're... GPs or hospital doctors of some description. Exactly. And then now learning about these new contracts, you almost question as to whether you should embark on this training or should you move to another country and do medicine? We'll talk more about that in a second. It isn't walking out a bit rash at this point in time. The NHS employer's chief executive, Danny Mortimer, says he's written to all junior doctors so they can engage directly with each other to discuss a new contract. If they choose to take strike action, he says this will be regrettable and premature. We want to listen to their concerns and discuss the new contract, how the new contract may work. Isn't it time to have that discussion instead of threatening to walk out? We'd love to have that discussion, but it's would people listen to us? We've been speaking out for years. The hours that we do now are not actually what we're contracted to do. We do a lot more. We start earlier, we finish later, and we often don't have our breaks. So for them to suddenly enforce these new hours on us, you almost think, well, where's our voice in this? And what can we do to get heard? And it seems like you know, strike is a last resort, but it's somewhere where we're headed. You said at the start there that it's a vocation. It's, it, the NHS is founded on the goodwill of the people working there who want to work there, who want to help people. And at the same time, full training. Some people say full training of a doctor can cost up to a million pounds of taxpayers' money if you take it from start right mm -hmm. to finish. Don't you have a moral responsibility to pay that back in some way? I don't think it comes up to quite a million. But there's also other things that we have to pay for. So we're already in debt from university fees. And when you become a doctor, you have to pay to stay on the register. You pay for all your exams and all your courses. So that amounts to thousands and thousands of pounds. Now how much do you get paid for the work you do? Well, when you initially graduate as a doctor, your start salary is about 23,000. And then you get more depending on your on-call shifts or what kind of banding you're on and where you're working. But essentially, that's what you start with. Coming back to the NHS, it is interesting, isn't it, that you say a lot of it is based on people's goodwill. In going to work in Malta or Australia or Canada or wherever else a lot of doctors want to go and work now, they're not the same setups, are they? No, it's slightly different out there, but you, the hours that you are given, you do stick to. They have a lot more staff and you do get paid more for what you do. It's almost like recognition for your service. So taking that away from us, it's almost like punishing us for what we're doing. Lamise, many thanks indeed. I know you've got a night shift starting at 8.30. That lasts until when? At nine in the morning, if I'm lucky. OK, thank you very much indeed. <laughs> thank you.